In this video, we're going to have a look at higher purchase. Higher purchase is a way of buying something expensive without paying the full amount immediately. Usually, you are expected to pay a deposit, and then the remaining amount, along with interest, is paid in regular equal payments. High purchase interest is always calculated using the simple interest method. Let's have a look at an example. Example, Anya buys a laptop of 9,000 Rand on high purchase. She has to pay 10% deposit, after which 5% interest per annum is paid for three years. Question one, how much does Anya owe after paying the deposit? Here we first need to determine what the amount deposit is she has to pay. We were given that she has to pay 10% of the original amount of 9,000, which means she will pay 900 Rand deposit. After this, she still owes the 9,000 Rand minus the 900 Rand deposit that she paid, which means she owes 8,000 100 rand. Question 2. What is the total amount that she has to repay after 3 years? She has to pay 5% interest for 3 years. And in the previous video, we saw that if you want to determine the total amount of simple interest, we can take the amount that she owes, which is now only 8,100 rand, and multiply this with the interest percentage of 5% and then multiply this by the number of years. This means that she will have to pay an amount of 1,215 Rand interest. Remember that she still owes 8,100 Rand and then needs to pay the extra interest of 1,215 Rand which means that after three years, she has to repay 9,315 Rand. Question three, calculate the monthly payment if Anya has to pay her debt in equal monthly payments over the three years. We just calculated that she needs to repay 9,315 Rand. This now needs to be divided into three years worth of months. So that would be 3 times 12. That means that we will have to divide this amount into 36 equal payments. And each one of those payments will then be 258 Rand and 75 cents. Question 4. How much does she pay for the laptop in total? Remember that right at the beginning, Anya paid a deposit of 900 Rand. Then she also paid another 9,315 Rand, which means the total amount she paid for the laptop is 10,215 Rand for a laptop which originally cost 9,000 Rand. Along with that, in question 2, we calculated that she has to pay interest of 1,215 Rand, which then makes up the total of 10,215 Rand.